Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in MVC using store procedure how to get the records between two given dates with entity framework. And here we got the output of that code how to get records between two given dates in MVC using store procedures with entity framework. The starting date I'm entering the Jack 9 2017. So the month is 9th, the date is 20 and the year is 2017 and the ending date is the Charan employee joining date 5-30-2018, the month is 5-30-2018, get records between two dates. See here we got the results between the selected dates starting and ending date let's check the another record the starting date 42208 the month is 4 2 and the year is 2018 is the starting date the ending date also i am entering the same one 0402 2018 get records between two dates and here we got the new output after we entering the starting date and ending date we found only one record of this joining date 422018 which is Gita. if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before writing the coding part in MVC First we will check the table and the column names. The table name is the EMP table which contains 5 columns EMP ID, EMP name, designation, department and joining date. Now my aim is I want to get the details between the starting date and ending date using store procedures. Let's create a new store procedure. This EMP table I have created in the sample DB database. Come to the bottom in the sample DB database there is a programmability folder expand that one and there is a subfolder store procedures right click that one new store procedure and here we got the default store procedure code I'm deleting the procedure parameters I'm adding the procedure name dbbo dot get emp records sp is a store procedure name at I'm adding parameter for the starting date start and the data type and the data type I have used in the table for joining date is the date time date time comma at and date time after adding the start and end parameters now in the select statement I'm deleting the default select statement I'm adding select start from the table name is dbo.emp table copy that one and paste here where the column name is a join date between at start and at end I have added these parameters here between starting date and ending date. That's it. We have created the store procedure. Let's execute to create the store procedure. And here we got the command completed successfully message. The store procedure get EMP records SP is added in the store procedures folder or not. I'm refreshing the folder. Let's expand the store procedures. And here is our store procedure get EMP records SP. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new MVC application. Go to File, New, Project. From the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Applications and the .NET Framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is Get Records Between Two Dates. MVC. Click OK. 
and from the templates I'm selecting MVC click OK and the MVC application is created successfully let's close this default window open solution explorer now in this project I'm adding adword.net entity data model right click the project name add adword.net entity data model the model name is get records is a model name click OK and from the model contents I'm selecting the first option next I'm creating new connection the server name is after adding the server name I'm selecting the database name sample DB test connection it succeeded ok ok and here the connection string the connection string name is a sample DB entities and I'm saving this connection string in the web.config file click next and from the selected database objects I'm expanding the tables as well as DBO the table name is EMP table this one EMP table finish and here we got the EMP table data model is added into our project now right click this entity model update model from database now this time I'm selecting the objects store procedures and functions expand that one as well as DBO our store procedure name is get EMP records SP get EMP records SP this one finish after adding the selected store procedures to this entity model now let's add the function right click the mouse add new function import the function import name is get function EMP is a function name store procedure is a get EMP record SP and the entity is a EMP table get column information click OK that's it we have done and also notice in the model browser the function imports get function EMP and get EMP records SP this is a function name and the top one get EMP records is a store procedure name so now the next step is open solution explorer let's minimize this references folder let's create a new controller in this controllers folder right click the controllers add controller I'm selecting MVC for controller empty add the controller name is get EMP records add and here we got our get EMP records controller also and now in this controller I'm adding sample db entries as d is equals to new sample db entries after that in the action result index which is a get method in the return view I'm adding as d dot the table name emp tables dot to list method that's it now in this action result index get method I'm getting all the employee details using the EMP table object now let's create the search functionality using the store procedures for that I'm using the HTTP post method public action result index return view now in this action result index I'm adding the date time the object which is a start starting date date time is end date 
the return view sd dot we need to add the function name not the stored procedure name the function name is a get function emp I'm adding starting date comma ending date that's it we have done the coding part and now we need the index view page but before that we must build the project build build solution and the project is built succeeded let's close this output message box now highlight the index let's create an index view page right click that one add view the view name is index only and the template I'm selecting the list template the model class which is the EMP table the data context class our data context class is a sample DB entities add and here we got our index view page also now in this index view page I'm adding center tag Header and we see how to get records between two given dates. Start and using stored procedure. Good entity framework after that I'm adding horizontal line I'm deleting this h2 tag after the horizontal line I'm adding at using HTML dot begin form method in the begin form method first parameter is the the view page which is the index page index comma the second parameter is a controller name which is a string so we need to add between double quotes our controller name is get amp records copy that one and paste here comma form method dot post now between these curly braces I am adding HTML elements input type is equals to date and name is equals to here the name I'm adding the start object from this action result index HTTP post method let's add the label span start date span end date input type is equals to date and name is equals to the end object after that I am adding one button control input type is equals to submit value is equals to get records between Dates. After that, the closing bracket and the center tag I'm deleting here. I'm adding at the bottom of the table control. And notice here the action links edit details and delete. I'm deleting these ones which I don't require, as well as I'm deleting the p tag also the create action link that's it we have done the complete coding part but before run this uh, application we have to change the controller name in the route config file open solution explorer app underscore start expand that one route config.cs open that one notice the controller name is the home I'm deleting that one our controller name is get EMP records copy that one paste here and the action 
view pages are index only which is this one that's it let's check the results google chrome and here we got the output of that code how to get records between two given dates in mvc using stored procedures with entity framework the starting date i'm entering the jack 9 20 2017 so the month is 9th the date is 20 and the year is 2017 and the ending date is the children employee joining date 5 30 2018 the month is 5 30 2018 get records between two dates see here we got the results between the selected dates starting and ending date let's check the another record the starting date 42208 the month is 4 2 and the year is 2018 is the starting date the ending date also i am entering the same one 0402 2018 get records between two dates and here we got the new output after we entering the starting date and ending date we found only one record of this joining date 422018 which is Kita. that's it